Hey everyone, welcome back to the next chapter in this epic adventure we call Farmer's Dynasty. I could just stand here all day and gaze at the beauty at which is my farm. But we're not going to do that because we have stuff to do. I actually, I think, I don't think I've milked the cows yet today. Let's go check on old Bessie. Oh, yep, need to milk. Get down there, get, <laughs> get them squeezed. <laughs> right? How many did she get? What, two? You know what, I'm just going to stop feeding these good for nothing. Oh, thanks for that. That's perfect. That's the show I needed right there. That's great. Big old flappy udder slapping me in the face. That's perfect. Ay, ay, ay. So, okay, so we're gonna. I think we're going to. Once we get our morning. Man, that one sounds like it's got a death rattle. I don't know what's going on with these cows. Let's go check the chickens real quick. I said check the chicken, by the way, not the other one. Um. Pick up whatever eggs we got. We got more eggs now since we bought, obviously, more chickens. Too bad eggs aren't worth like $10 a piece. I'm not exactly sure it's worth even getting chickens. I mean, I don't know. It seems kind of silly to have, what do we get, like 30 cents an egg or something silly? Oh, well. Is what it is. Keeps us busy. Keeps us wanting to wake up in the morning, I guess. Uh, let's run over. Are the are the freaks gone? Yeah, they're gone. I guess we're not doing the um, mushroom. Oh, wait. What's going on? Oh, maybe they're not. What's going on here? No smiley faces? Let's talk to Ellie real quick. Hello there. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Ellie? Nice, nice weather, weather ain't, ain't it? It sure is. Um, I need to ask more open-ended questions in order to get these people to talk to me more because it seems like they stick with very simple answers. Let's ask her about these stinking politicians. Them politicians. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? They only care for themselves. That's what they all do. It's weird, too, because I don't know if you all notice, but I swear... Their accents change from time to time. Not only from me meeting them one time to another, but it seems like their accents also change mid-sentence or mid-conversation. Kind of odd. But Thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll see, see you, you around. Ellie. Should I hit on Ellie? I don't know if I should hit on her. I don't know. Ellie? Hello I, there. I gotta say one more weird thing to you. Good morning. Let me um, Let me just hit on you real quick. I would have arrived earlier if I knew I'd meet a beauty like you. What is wrong with you? Do you always talk like that? I I could swear we've already talked to Ellie. And I thought she would be much more receptive to our wiles, but apparently not. Let's go see this dude real quick. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Good to on? see you. Can I help you? Kind of got into his personal space there a little bit. Um... Care to trade? I want to trade. Sure. What do you need? No, what do you need? I think that's a better question, my friend. What do you need? Let's go with 18 eggs. That's the whopping $6. I don't even want to touch this stuff over here because it seems like it automatically... Like I automatically buy it whenever I touch these things over here. Um, I've got a few shrooms, but I don't think I want to get rid of those. I'm, I got, I'm eventually gonna have to get rid of these stinking fancy chocolates. I have no idea why I even got those. Oh, we do have a fish. You know what? I'm good, buddy. Hasta luego. Um, so one thing I wanted to take care of today. I don't know if Shroom Fest is coming back or not, but it doesn't look like it's on right now. One thing I kind of wanted to take care of today was a quest. I noticed a quest that I thought might be kind of straightforward and simple, so we're going to take a look at that. Oh, there's the pickup good. Now I remember where it is. Where is James? 
I want to make sure James is not getting hungry. James has got a big old green smiley face over his head. Hey, James. Oh, feed James the fish. I can do that. James is very happy. Oh, James went to a heart from a smiley face. Okay. James loves me. Now, we put down some bees. Oh, I can gather honey. I got a jar of honey. Do I only get one jar per... I don't get one jar per hive? Apparently not. Now, don't we have... Didn't we put down more honey... Or more hive someplace else last... Oh, hey, dude, you almost hit me. Hello? Where did we put those other beehives down at? I don't... Here we go. Here we go. Gather more honey. Got another jar. Ah, uh, I wonder how much we get for honey. That's got to be worth some cash. Right? Honey's not... Shouldn't be cheap. Honey's hard work. I had a friend that used to do... Um, tree sap do the old uh, maple syrup thing and I would help them um, collect it and and whatnot and I'll tell you it was work but man real maple syrup from the tree and I mean I have never had maple syrup like this that was actually straight from the tree boiled down and then eaten it was they used to make maple syrup, um, oh, what do you call it, um, you know, the the candy stuff. I forget what it's called now, but I want to say brownies. It's not brownies. It's, um, you, you know what I'm saying. So good. It was so good. Um, do we want to make, let's make, can we sell made? I think we can sell made stuff, can't we? Maybe that's what I should be doing instead of just selling eggs. Maybe I should be make, selling eggs that have been cooked. That's probably a better way to go. Let's see. Let's make uh, condensed milk. I know that you get more nutrition from these things when Leroy here gets hungry. How are we feeling? We're doing okay. All right. Excellent. All right. That's enough of that fun stuff. We fed James. I'll have to remember to go get James another fish eventually. Um, as far as our s plants go, it looks like they show perfect. So we're looking good there in our greenhouse. We collected our eggs and milk. Let's go hop in the truck. Let's go see if we can... Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. I just saw our truck. Where was I? Where's the stinking truck? I know I just saw the truck. Oh, I know where I parked the truck. I remember now. All right. We also need to buy fertilizer too, I think. We've got um, we've got corn. There's the truck, you little devil. Just making sure I don't need to fix any fences or do anything to the barns or anything. I don't know how often they go back into a state of needing repair. All right. Oh, this camera. I You know... I look forward to playing this game, but then the second I hop into a vehicle, it's like, do I really want to deal with this? All right, let's go. The tr That's where we want to go, right here. We're going to try this transport quest. Honestly, not entirely sure what that's all about, but I figure we've got a vehicle. So we can transport. Oh, and we do, we can actually, let's just, let's just stop here for a second. Stop, stop, stop. I'm going to go see if this dude will buy processed Good to see you. food. Can I help you? For a little bit better money. Uh, I want to trade. Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? No, what do you need, my friend? Uh, condensed milk. So if I pick eggs. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. What have I been selling him eggs for? This is so much better. 67 bucks? That's, oh, that's so much better. I've been selling him plain eggs. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. Uh, condensed milk. 
67 bucks. I mean, it's still, we're not getting rich, but at this, oh, how much for the honey? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. 15 bucks a jar. We're going to hold on to that for now, though. But at least that's better than six or seven cents we were getting or whatever ridiculous. For, oh, man, this camera sucks. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go do our transport. Uh, whatever. Oh, I'm going to hit somebody. Freaky vans. Look at the giant bird in the middle of the road. The vans freak me out. The vans with no windows. I just have this odd feeling that they're... There's like some weird agents in there watching every move we make. These women have like brothers r driving around taking out men that hit on them or something like that do i have a cruise control yeah buddy so i'm working on my adult water beverage tonight my throat is still kind of bugging me from all this horrible air quality we have around here uh along with my adult water beverage i am also working on uh my adult stogie so if you hear a little oddness in my voice that's probably because I'm trying to keep my stogie lit there we go we got her all right let's hop out let's go see what's going on here with this stinking transport thing uh where does one go are there people around somewhere I might not be in the right place. Am I missing something? Let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at the map here. No, I'm like... I'm like kind of right on top of it. Maybe I need to go over there a little ways to the left. Okay, there's the bus stop. Maybe they're over closer to the bus stop. Oh, there's a mound. Oh, wait. Whoa. Hello. Were they there the whole time? Was I literally just missing? Oh, it's freaking me out. So here's a mound of something. I hope we don't have to transport this. Because if we do, you can forget about it. Hello. Are you? Are you... We'll talk later. Apparently then. Uh, uh -huh. Hi. Not now. Sorry. Okay, no problem. I won't do your stinking transport. Not now. Sorry. Um, hello, people. I'm here for transport duty. Not now. Sorry. I'm busy. <sighs> what is going on? Is there somebody else around? No, there's nobody else here. I can go back in the bus stop. I want to transport. Why can't I transport? I'm busy. I know you're busy, but I'm here. We'll talk later. Oh, this is ridiculousness. Let me look at the map again. Am I, do I not have the right people? No, no, I, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to hop in my truck. You know what? Maybe we need to drive over their crops. Let's go over this way. Oh, yeah, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> yep, going through your garden. <clears throat> Maybe they'll let me do my transport now. Not now. Sorry. Maybe these aren't the people I need to talk to. Not now. Sorry. I just... I want transport duty. Do I need to click on, like... Transport. New quest available. Let me, let me, um, maybe, maybe I'm not in the right place. It sure looks like I'm in the right place. Over here. Oh, I'm not moving these rocks, I can tell you that much, too, man. It's like freaking Stonehenge over here. Oh, yeah, Lydia, look at that. Okay, so she should be talking to us. Hey, excuse me. I'm busy. 
But there's a thing above you. We'll talk later. No, talk now. You've got the exclamation point. Lydia. We'll talk later. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe I have to come back, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else to do to get Lydia to give us this uh, transportation contract. What do you want me to do, girl? Hello there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Good morning. No, not good morning. I've been asking you for the past five minutes. You know what? Just nice weather. Nice weather, ain't it? It sure is. All right, let's skip the niceties, Lydia. You've already on my bad side. What do you need me to do? Hello, beauty. Let me hit so on nice first. to see you. What is wrong with you? I'll tell you do what's you wrong with me. Talk I've like been that? asking you for the past five minutes what you want me to stink and transport. That's what's wrong with Hi me. Hi there. Good morning. All right, let's get down to business. Is there something? Oh wait, what's? What Did you hear the latest news? I don't even watch TV anymore. Yeah, that's not surprising. Is there something I can help you with? There is something I need indeed. Oh, here we go. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it Excuse now. Excuse me? Um... Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Check the map. Pick up a parcel for stinking Lydia. You know what, Lydia? I hope I've got a frowny face above me because... What's this... Salute you're giving Have me. Have you finished your task? Always late, never on oh, time. Oh, here we go. Now the complaining Same story starts. Every time. Great, I'm not sticking around. That's all they do, man, is complain. Depends on how you look at them. Always late. Did you hear? Did you hear she's pregnant? One day it'll all be different. Well, oh, I thought he was gonna say one day it'll all be over. I'm like, holy cow, am I? Did I stumble upon some weird cult freako thing going on? Where do we need to go? Um, where do I need to pick up this stinking package for Lydia? New quest, new quest. There's my truck. This game makes it so easy. Um, I'm looking for. Oh, what's this? You've got to be kidding me! All the way over here. This won't even pay for my I gas. I hope it will change someday. Man, they're still complaining to each other. These people are crazy. Oh, this camera sucks. All right, let's go over. Do a little cross-country driving here. Hopefully I won't get stuck. And we'll go see if we can find Lydia's package. It's probably a setup. It's probably some kind of a weird drug deal or something like that that I'm getting caught up in. Or a human organ. It's probably a kidney. Oh, man, I don't want to be delivering kidneys, man. I can tell you that much. If it's in an igloo cooler? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. I'm stuck again. I'm going to have to call for a stinking toe. All right. Let's go. That was well worth it. There, Lydia. That That's my entire... profit margin gone down the crapper right there. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Like I was saying, if this package is in a little igloo cooler, it ain't happening. I can tell you that much right now. I'm not taking any kind of igloo coolers. That's just from experience. Wait, is this our farm right here? Oh, it is. All right. Our little homestead. I should have hired somebody to plant our, our field for us. We need to get that corn in the ground, I think. All right, let's get out of here. I'm so glad that job for Oliver is done. I'm not going to lie to you. That was just a laboring, laborsome task, plowing that massive field for Oliver. That Man, what is going on with this stinking camera? Um, I'm afraid to take any more plow jobs. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Until we get a better plow, which I can't see any time in the foreseeable future. I think what's got me up, kind of up in arms a little bit, <clears throat> is the inability to cheat in this game. Like in Farming Simulator, if you really want to cheat, you can cheat, you know? The game developers were kind enough. Giants was like, you know what? Maybe they want to cheat. Maybe they want some free money. And they left that door open for us. But in this game, no. You got to earn everything. Now, I did look up. Uh, apparently, there's a, what do they call it? A, a Wii, Wii mod or Wii mode or Wii cheat thing that you can download. It's whatever. It's some little app that you can download. Man, those giant birds are freaky. It's some app you can download that gives you like that kind of cheats on every game out there. But I feel that it has virus written all over it. Virus and adware. Oh man, I'm so glad I didn't go down in that ditch. Woohoo! Little Duke Boys action right there. This is a long drive, Lydia. You didn't tell me we'd stink and be going cross country for this. Oh, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, those poles are solid as all get out. That'd be so dangerous if that was real life and those poles could withstand a hit from a pickup truck. That would be like the world's most dangerous road markers. People would be dying left and right, getting wrecked. I'll tell you a little story about that. Actually, nobody died, but. I'll tell you a little story about uh, what a friend of mine did with his mailbox. He did get in trouble for it, actually. Uh, not too bad, not too much trouble, because he really didn't know. But he got tired of these kids driving by, banging up his mailbox. So he stuck a ten-foot steel pole <laughs> about eight feet into the ground, <laughs> filled it with cement. <laughs> Put a mailbox on it. Um, let's just say that mailbox was there five years later. But then he found out that it was completely illegal. His mailman told him that uh, it, what he'd done was like completely illegal and could kill somebody. So he took it down. But I actually thought it was quite funny. Okay, is this... Oh, look at this dude. Oh, he's Steve. Why, oh, wait, Steve's smiling at me. Do I know you, Steve? Do I know you, Lily? Excuse me, Steve. I'm, I'm here for oh, the package. I wanted to go talk to Lily. Sure. Here it is. Wait, did he say the package? I hope so. Um, deliver the parcel back. Oh, you. Hey, what's up, girl? Not now. Sorry. Man. Wow. Talk about access denied, right? I'll close your gate for you. I mean, a huge, a huge access denied right there. Total slam. Do we have to go all the way back up and deliver this package back to what's her name? Oh, we do. All right, Lydia. I'm coming. Heading back, honey. Heading back. I got your kidney or your gallbladder or your whatever it is that's in this cooler. We're going to get stuck again. I, I, I should probably be more careful and stick to the road. Because there's all these little hidden ditches around here. That's what get me. So yeah, so yeah, my buddy got in some trouble. I mean, the mailman didn't tell on him or anything. But you could tell the mailman wasn't all that thrilled about the fact that he had done it. But at the same time, I mean, the guy had replaced like four or five mailboxes. It was stinking ridiculous. He lived, he still actually, actually, I think he still lives out at the same house. It's kind of out in the, in the sticks. Really, really, you know, no, no street lamps or anything like that. So, I mean, it's pitch black dark and um, would be so easy for some riled up teens or whoever to come cruising by with a baseball bat and having a little fun on your mailbox. But... But hey, he didn't have to replace his mailbox for a long time. In fact, I think either that I think they figured it out too because even after he switched to a normal mailbox, um, I don't think he's lost any since then. 
I think they're supposed to be, I don't know what the regulations are on those things, but I think they have to be at least somewhat kind of breakaway or giving, so if a car hits them, you don't kill somebody. It's kind of like the old story where people get mad with uh, cars that drive down the road and drive through your leaves that you that you spent a bunch of time raking and then they blow them all over the place because they drive through your leaf pile people it used to be people put bricks in their leaf piles so that if some idiot came cruising through and tried to destroy your leaf pile and blow it all over the place they'd get a nice um they'd get a nice concrete block up into their radiator <laughs> See, I think stuff like that should be allowed. Honestly. I think it's okay. I think it should be. I think people, some, some people need to learn the hard way. That's just the fact of life, you know? I've, I had to learn a lot of things the hard way because I was stupid when I was younger. I'm still stupid, but at least not, um, at least my stupidity now kind of just sticks with me. You know, it doesn't affect other people. But when I was younger, I did stupid things that affected other people and I learned the hard way a couple times I got my you know I got a nice punch in the mouth oh, get out of there you can you are so not stuck this thing needs four wheel drive oh I'm all oh, my bumpers hooked up on that rock yeah that's right no tow truck for me this time so yeah, I mean, I did some stupid things and you know, you pay for them and you learn. That's how you learn. You know, no bicycle helmets, completely optional. Skateboard wrist guards and elbow pads, optional. I mean, we didn't, we didn't have to deal with all that safety nonsense. Asbestos, something you sprinkle on your toast in the morning. Lydia, I'm going to I'm going to tell you I'm going to be honest with you, honey. This little quest you sent me on ain't worth Oh, I almost took that person out. All right, Lydia. Good for nothing. We're back. And I swear if she tells me, "Move, dude." I swear if she tells me that she's too busy. Oh, they're solid, too. Check that out. You can't even take out people. Oh, she's running over to me. Oh, now she wants to talk to me. Here's the package you oh, requested. <laughs> Thank you. Here's something for you. I didn't even get out of the truck. What did we get? 317 euros, 634 social points. whoop de freak She's hitting my truck. Hey, excuse me. You don't have to take it out on my truck. What's she talking about? We'll talk later. Oh, we'll talk later. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she doesn't want to. <laughs> He's like, what, dude? Check him out. He's like, what are you doing, man? Stop hitting me. I got to hit the... I got to try this one more time. Boom. Yeah, he's not happy with me. He's not... <laughs> Sorry, this is just too much fun. <laughs> Do I at least get a smiley face from Lydia? That sucks. Oh. oh, what sucks? You talk? Excuse me? You talking to me? On top of all this, my headache is killing me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what they tell us. <laughs> On top of getting hit by a oh, jeez. Absolutely. Hello there. Good morning. I just cannot get enough of these people. You really look beautiful today. So nice to hear that. Thanks. Oh, she's receptive. Did we, did we get a smiley face? Nah, man. See, this this game's a ripoff. This is a ripoff. Hello. Hmm? Oh, not even a hello. It's just a hmm? I don't want to... Care to trade? Let me see what he's got. Absolutely. I wonder if we can get better prices. Let's actually, let's see what kind of prices we can get on our honey from him. Nah, he's the same deal as the other guy. You want some candies? 
Ninety dollars for some candies, for some chocolate, for some chocolate. Uh, oh, he's got pumpkins. You know what? How much are pumpkins? Oh, you. Oh, no way. There is a couple of pumpkin quests I saw, like for pumpkin spice or something. Let's buy some pumpkins. I'm going to buy some pumpkins. What's this for here? Oh, wait, wait, what? Gourmet recipe? Gourmet recipes book three. Oh, maybe this is the third in a series? Honey. Well, we have honey. Let's buy the gourmet recipe book. I've won I've been wondering how we get our hands on the gourmet recipes. Well, that was totally worth it. Hey, dude, what's up? Hello there. Good morning. Well, good morning to you, sunshine. Um. Um. Did you hear? Did the you hear news? the latest news? I heard there's someone new around, but haven't seen him yet. Yeah, that's pretty passive aggressive if I'm not lying. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? No, not at the moment. No other organs for me to deliver? Maybe some drugs? Maybe a little bit of the devil's lettuce? Good luck. See you around. Peace out, man. Well, jeez, man, she's constantly creeping up on me. Lydia, you're really starting to freak me out. All right. Let's, um, let's bail. Let's get out of this place. I feel like I'm going to end up on their dinner table tonight. Let's, uh, let's go back to the homestead. I definitely want to check out our new gourmet recipes book. We paid $170, 170 euros for a cookbook. I mean, it better be next level Gordon Ramsay stuff because that's a lot of cash. In fact, I think the last time I even came close to spending that kind of money for a book would have been college. And you want to talk about the world's biggest rip-offs. Holy cow. College books. I don't know. It's been a long time since I went to college. But I'm going to assume college books are still outrageously expensive. Why, why doesn't anybody, like, our stinking politicians are wasting enough time doing useless things. If they really wanted to accomplish something in their lives, why don't they pass a bill that makes it illegal for a college textbook to cost $1,000? How about that for starters? Whose farm is this? I don't even know where we are. Is this Oliver's farm? <laughs> I'm always assuming it's Oliver's farm because he's the only person I can remember. Oh, we're way over there. I'm going the wrong way. Let's get out of here this way here. Let's see. Ooh, look at those steps. All the way up here. That's a nice little deal. Nice little bench right there. Kind of a stone bench. Oh, we're going to get stuck again. I don't know why I continue. Oh, man, that wild boar. Nice. I wonder if this game is ever going to let me buy a bow. This is bad. This was a bad choice. I should have just taken the stinking road. I always think it's a shortcut to not take the road. But I bet it takes me twice as long to go these backwoods, you know? So it says we're back on the homestead. Oh, our homestead's over there. Okay. We're almost... <laughs> We're almost there. This pickup truck is so whippy. Oh, this is our field. Oh, shoot. I'm driving over our crops. That cannot be good, right? All right. Let me go park this pickup truck. I I think... I don't know where to park it. It's always in the way. I don't think it matters. All right. How hungry are we? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's... um. Let's go check out our um, advanced recipes real quick here. See what we got going on. Do I need to load it? Because I'm not seeing anything new. I thought we this is what we paid for, these honey-based recipes. 
Did we get ripped off? Gourmet recipes book. Right there. Oh, read it. Okay. Ah, there we go. Giddy up. Honey ice cream. <gasps> yeah. Two of those. We got to be able to make decent money on that, right? Somebody's going to want that. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. I thought we had something. Oh, because I probably, because I used, yeah. Needs eggs. Do we not have, we have eggs still. Condensed milk. Spicy pumpkin soup. Let's make one of those. Spicy pumpkin soup. Nice. Ooh, what's that? Honey ice cream? Spicy pumpkin soup? Uh, gourmet recipes book. It's still, you already know recipes from this book. So, can I sell it? I wonder if I can sell it. Now that we know the recipes, you know, we photo we photocopied all of the recipes so we could turn around and sell it. Um, oh man. All right, where's where's the dude at that uh yeah, I know. We need to get some farming. I know. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this. But this game wants you to do almost anything but farm though, you know? Oh, I forgot to pick up fertilizer too. Dang it. Good to see you. Can I help you? I need fertilizer, dude. Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? Fertilizer. Um, so here's the gourmet recipe book. Oh. No, that's that's honey ice cream. Wait, did I just sell the book? Uh, yeah. Uh. I think I sold the book. It's so it's frustrating because sometimes you just click on something once and it sells. It's not right. It's not right. How much how much do I get for spicy soup? 788. Now I'm afraid to click. I think I sold him one of those too now. No. Ah. Uh. You see that, right? I am not clicking on sell. So I don't know. I just don't trust it anymore. It's like I don't want to sell. I'd click on the button that says sell if I want to sell it. Leave. <laughs> I don't have what you're looking for. Things are automatically selling. It's irritating. All right. Let's see here. Let's get rid of this because I don't need that anymore. But we, oh, come on. But we do need to go get, where's the ag store? Building depot. Vehicle shop. Gas station. Church. Coffee. Agricultural store. Uh, let's go to the ag store and let's at least get my fertilizer. Because honestly, that was... That was actually, like, the one thing I wanted to accomplish. That I, I haven't done it. It's so stupid. I get caught up in all this other stuff. I just, it's frustrating. I don't understand this, the... So, it's almost like you... I, I'm not sure how I'm going to get around that. Because I want to be able to click on things to see how much I can get paid for them. But then, when I click on it once, they sell automatically. And I may not want to sell them, you know? What happens if I sell James uh, accidentally? I don't want to sell James. James is like the only person that loves me in this game right now. And just saying that out loud has really made me sad. There's not a single character in this game that has a heart for me except James. God bless James. God bless James. All right, let's go in here. Let's go in here. Now, here, here's another one you got to be careful of because, if you know, heaven forbid, you click one too many times, you just bankrupted yourself, you know. Uh, I need some stinking fertilizer. That's what I need. Fertil animals and fertilizer. Okay. Do we want... Fertilizer price 0.93 cents for 
per per liter or something manure oh but then there's a special for x wow that's like twice as much and i don't even know if we can put that down or if you need a special spreader that's that's expensive i don't think we should go that route yet um do i need to click wow this this interface is really bad I'm either buying fertilizer or a bunch of pigeons. I'm hoping for fertilizer. 516 euros. And again, I have no concept of how much I need at all. No idea. It doesn't tell you how far it goes. How much acreage can you get from it? It's just a free for all. Um, so we're going to buy that. I think I just bought fertilizer. Farm statistics. Yes, I did buy fertilizer. Okay, this Ferdex. I kind of want to buy some now, though, because... I wonder if it's like special glow-in-the-dark or something, you know? But look how much money that is. Almost a thousand euros... No, we better not. We better not. We better not. Because for that kind of money, I'd be better off buying, like, geese. What what good do geese do us? You know what I'm saying? Like, do we just... The golden eggs? Do we do the goose that laid the golden eggs? How much for zero pieces of goose? Zero pieces of goose. <laughs> what? Oh, nine... Okay, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. One piece of goose is forty six ninety. Do we have a place to put geese? Let's buy a goose. I I I have no idea if we even have a place to put a goose. Animals. Cat, cows, hens, roosters, and we own a gee. We own a goose. Do we need hen food? It looks like the hens are really eaten slow, which is really good news for us. And I don't think the cows straw. The cows don't seem like they're eating very fast either. So that's really good news. So we own a goose now. What is running around in the background here? Do you see that running around back here? Was that our goose? There's something that keeps running around back here, it looks like. Um, greenhouse seeds... Uh, so we own a goose. Should we buy a pigeon then too? Maybe we should buy a pigeon. How much is a pigeon? One pigeon is $28. Let's buy a pigeon. Let me make sure I got that too. Yep, we own a pigeon and a goose. All right. It's like a pet store more than it is anything, huh? So, actually, where did I park? So... I guess we're okay. You know, at least we've got, um, I guess at least we've got like, I'm always doing that so I don't get lost, even though I get lost regardless. We've got seed, we've got fertilizer. I actually could have just taken the bus over here. It probably would have been better. So we got seed, we got fertilizer. Um, I need to get this next field taken care of. It's plowed and cultivated, so it's ready to plant. And then, I don't know, this goose and this... What did we get? A goose and a duck? I can't remember. Pigeon. A pigeon and a goose. Well, James will have somebody to play with. Or eat. James will probably eat our stinking duck. I swear to God, if James eats any of my animals. Him and I are going to have a come to Jesus meeting. That's for sure. All right. I'm sure if I park here, I'll be in the way of, of something very quickly. Uh, so where's our where's our goose and our and our. Um, where's our goose and. 
Those cows freak me out. They're not making, they're making weird noises. It's not the right noise for a cow. I hear the mooing, but then there's that other noise that's not right. Is there a, is there a goose or a duck in here? I don't know where they are. I, I, you know what? I wonder if we had to build. Wait, what are you? You're a chicken. I wonder if I had to build a special place for them, you know? And maybe they're just kind of wandering in space until I put down a special barn or something for them. I would think they'd be in like a pen, right? Like, wouldn't you have like a pen to put them in where they would just kind of chill? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't even know what good they do me. What would you get from a goose or a duck? Or a goose or a uh, pigeon, you know? I'm not even sure why I bought them now. Well, I don't see them anywhere. I guess they're not they're, they're not to be found. Let me get rid of our star that's kind of bugging me. Uh, What's this thing here for? This trophy, is that for the shroom thing? Okay. So they must be, we must have more of the shroom event coming up oh that's the drone all right well i think well i'm looking at the time i think that's it for this episode uh next episode i think we're gonna have to get cracking on our new field and uh get our corn planted i am going to try very hard to find our stinking duck or a goose. What? I, don't even, I can't even remember what I bought now. No, 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 no. Don't reset the building, for goodness sakes. Uh, goose and pigeon. I wish this game had, like, a deal where, like in Farming Simulator, where you can say, you know, tag this place or find this vehicle. That'd be sweet, you know? Help me find my goose. Help me find my duck. Where's James? Uh-oh. Oh, there's James. Okay. Hey, buddy. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. I'm just going to, I guess, run around and see if I can find the animals we just bought. These all look like chickens. I should have bought more chickens, maybe, too. See if I can figure out what we're supposed to do with that goose and that pigeon. But hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out again. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see what kind of mischief we can get into next time here on Farmer's Dynasty. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video at all. I'd appreciate it. And also, always feel free to subscribe. Usually we're on Farming Simulator, but uh, once in a while I like to break free of the stereotype that that's all the games I play is farming. <laughs> and come play Farmer's Dynasty, which, yeah. Anyways, I think you get it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.